So they, their votes always canceled one another out because dad would have voted Skull and Bones candidate no matter what. Maybe they take a pledge or something. I don't know. Let's go for dad. Uh, Thompson. I think I am even mentioned in this evil little book. Yes, I am. Thompson, 1924. There's Thompson. There's Thompson. And 1924. And you will see there where he was born and uh, where he went to college, that he was married to my mother, that he was mayor of several towns. He was a very civic-minded person, and everybody loved him. He always got elected. The most generous person on earth that ever existed. If anybody had a problem, you know, he'd be right in on that, offering to help out no matter what. And a, he was a vestry man at the Episcopal Church, and... Uh, I don't know what else Dad was, except he was the order at Yale. <laughs> anyway, it, it, did you get that picture okay? I did. I can even see your name on there. Oh, good. So it says, uh, 1924, law retired, born January 3rd, 1903, Johannesburg, South Africa, where he resided, Mosley Road, Far Hills, New Jersey, worked at Appleton Rice and Pear in New York, council and director, Seba Corporation, 4664, Mayor, Sands Point, New York, 40 to 47, member township committee, Mendham, New Jersey, 61 to 71. Married June 4, 1927, Charlotte Dyer. Uh, and daughter, Victoria Romig. And Charlotte, my goodness, my name is in the skull and bones little black book of members. I didn't even know that, huh? Well, good for you, Charlotte. Hmm? I wonder, I wonder what they say about me. Oh, they're so all to themselves, they probably don't even know about me. They probably don't even know about Dad anymore. So now we have, um, well, this is an interesting one here. Oh, look at all these bushes. Bush, 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 bush. How about it? Let me give you a, there we are, look. Bush, 1948, George Herbert Walker. Well, we're already, oh, my representative to the UN, chairman of the Republic. This is a good one. George Herbert Walker, born in, you know, he must have graduated in 1948, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> born 1924 in Milton, Massachusetts, director CIA, Washington, D.C., residence in Washington, and President and Chairman Zapata Offshore Company, 58 to 66, member U.S. Congress, 6770, U.S. Permanent Rep to the United Nations, Ambassador, 71 to 72, Chairman, Republican National Committee, 73, 74, boy, he doesn't give up, does he? Chief U.S. Liaison Office, Peking People's Republic of China, 74, 75, Lieutenant, Junior Grade, U.S. Navy, 42, 45, uh, th three air medals, married January 6th to Barbara, 1945, children, George W., 1968, John E., Neil M., huh, Marvin P., and Dorothy. Yep, okay. Then we have, gosh, George Jr., 1968, born, I mean, 19, he was, that was the class. He was born in 1946 in New Haven, resides in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. That's all they have for him. Oh, this is an old book, see? Yeah, okay. Then James, I never knew about James, did you? Yeah, he's the brother. Well, I've heard about him. Okay. And I knew about the girl. Yeah. Bush, 1953, Jonathan. Oh, I knew about him. He used to leave it, park his car in our garden in Camden before he would go out on sailing trips. Somehow we, we must have met him. He was very nice, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, he'd, stay, he'd be gone for about a month on the island, whatever island, Vinyl Haven or one of them, and he would leave his car in our garage or in our parking lot. And I, he was rather a nice guy. And then we have Prescott. 1917, uh, that's the year for him, that's important. He was born in 1895.
Columbus, Ohio, died in uh, October 8, 1972, New York, New York. Greenwich, Greenwich, Connecticut, Republican Town Meeting, 32 to 52, moderator. Yale Corporation, 44 to 58, U.S. Senator from Connecticut, 52 to 63, that was a long time. Formerly partner Brown Brothers Harriman, see, you got all that. And in August 6, 1921, Dorothy Walker, married Dorothy Walker, and their children were George, Jonathan, William, and Nancy. Okay, uh, that's that. That's the bushes. We could go through a lot of people. You know what's interesting? Let's let's just take a look here. We're in BU. Let's take a look at Buckley, huh? The great leader of the conservative movement, huh? Buckley. William Frank. He graduated in 1950. This is the, the guy that was put up there as a, and a good, you know, a friend of the socialist economist. What's his name? The really socialist economist? I can't remember his name. They were always such good friends. I always wondered how that could be. Hmm? No. Um, I can't remember right now, but he's very well known. Anyway, Buckley. Buckley. Ooh. Gosh, there are a lot of Buckleys. There's Christopher Taylor, New York City author, editor, journalist. I wonder if he's related. Chief speechwriter, the vice president of the United States. Buckley Fergus Reed, writing, Paris, France, novelist and lecturer. They're all in, in media, right? It could well be they're related, huh? Then we have James. Uh, he was Bill Buckley's brother. A pretty good guy, I believe. Um, he was president of Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, in Munich, West Germany. What a joke those places were. They really, they led the... Uh, the poor Hungarians, you know, we, we, let, we let Hungary right, go down, right down the tube. We, we, we did all the broadcasting to get them to revolt with Radio Free Europe, and then they revolted, and then the Soviets struck in 1956, I guess, the, and the Hungarian Revolution. Horrible. So that's what Radio Free Europe did. Well, it must have done some good things. Okay. He was U.S. Senator from New York, uh, in the Navy. Married Peter, he was he was U.S. Senator from New York for a sh very short time, and I wondered why. He went in and he never ran again. This is his brother. Okay, now here we got William Frank Buckley, uh, born in 1925, national present National Review. Uh, he was associate editor of American Mercury, which you see. So he was really. That was very good. That was a really true blue, wonderful conservative magazine that he was editor of. That's rather interesting. He went in there early to, you know, do damage everywhere, I guess. Editor-in-chief, National Review, syndicated columnist, TV host, Firing Line, chairman of the board, Star Broadcasting Group, author of several books, appointed by Nixon to five-member USIA Advisory Committee, 1969, appointed by the president, public member of the U.S. delegation to, uh-oh, 28th General Assembly of the UN. Host of PBS Great Performance as Brides Had Revisited. Second Lieutenant U.S. Infantry. Well, that must have been tough. I, what when was that? 44 to 46. Right at the, you know, that's the nasty end of the war. Married to Patricia Taylor. Okay. Andy. No. <laughs> but he was confirmed CIA, wasn't he? He certainly was. With Ward, what's his name, and all of them? Maybe they don't put that in. CIA, huh? And here we got Frederick McGeorge Bundy, the one that's listed in the NEA's Cardinal Principles pre-planning board. This is very important. So at the top, the NEA has all these characters, these rotten leftists. Educators and government people, top skull and bones people. All right. There is McGeorge Bundy and there is Frederick McGeorge Bundy. Isn't that interesting? So McGeorge Bundy's the one we want. His brother was the other one. Is that something? Two brothers were of the order at Yale. This is sort of fascinating stuff. And then William Bundy. All right, McGeorge Bundy. And remember that he was listed? 
on the NEA's uh, Cardinal Principles Revisited, 1976, which was the total international world government document, education for a world government, basically. He was listed with all the rotten educators, Theodore Sizer, oh, everyone you can imagine. And anyway, here we go. And Rockefeller, David Rockefeller, which makes one ask at the top of the NEA, how many teachers know that the NEA at the top is allied with the Rockefellers and the insiders and the establishment and the, and the very people that everybody will tell you the NEA abhors. So anyway, here we go, McGeorge Bundy, born 1919, professor of history, NYU, lived at 133 East 80th Street, New York, they all have good addresses. Uh, lecturer, associate professor of government, dean of faculty, arts and sciences, 53 to 61 at Harvard. Arts and sciences, that's interesting, huh? Special assistant for national security affairs to President Kennedy and Johnson, 1961 to 66. President of the Ford Foundation, okay, Brown Gaither, 1966 to 79. He was 10 years after Gaither. He knew, same thing that Gaither told Dodd. Captain A, A, A U, United States, 1942 to 1946. Can you imagine? They were really in nasty wars and all. Uh, maybe that's what caused them to be so world government oriented. I don't know. M well, they learned it at, at the order at Yale, I guess. Um, okay, nothing more of interest there. Married to Mary Lothrop, the children and all. And William Bundy, okay, this is another one. This is the other one that's important. Uh, journalism, born, uh, this has got to be his brother. Editor of Foreign Affairs, okay, CFR. Uh, uh, Yale Corporation, Covington Berlin Law Firm, he's a very important one, this one. Um, columnist Newsweek. Uh, oh, whoa. Staff Director, President's Commission on National Goals. That was a bad commission. Uh, Maureen Heaton covered that in her book. National Goals, all right. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense, International Security Affairs. Uh, ooh, Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs, 64 to 69. Major Army Signal Corps, August 41. They were all in the war. Legion of Merit, British MBE. M married to Mary Atchison. I wonder if that's Dean Atchison. Michael and Christopher. Okay, well, you know, really, these people are something else, aren't they? Oh, they are important.